Yes, Haku CG TV back once again. This time with our Asian interviews. Kicking it off, we have Lion City Sailor Striker and one of the top goal scorers in Singapore, we have Stipe Prezaba. Check it out. You play at Lion Cities, uh, at Lion City Sailors, but you've been around for quite a bit in Asia. Like as we said, you've been in Japan, you've been in Thailand, Singapore, and Singapore several times with uh, Hogan United and Home yeah. Home United that then changed to Lion City. Before that, Macedonia, of course, and you started in Croatia, your home country. Which country yeah. has been the country that you've enjoyed playing in the most? I would say Singapore because life here is just too comfortable for me and I, I like my social life here the most. Okay. Let's say Japan was much better in sense of football, football-wise, professional life and that was perfect but I didn't have any kind of social life there so uh, I didn't enjoy my overall life. I enjoy my football but didn't enjoy my overall life so yeah. when you put all of this together uh, I will say Singapore, yeah. Okay. So Singapore because of the standard of life and what, what would you say compared to that from from uh, Thailand and Japan in comparison? I mean, here everyone speaks English. That's the first difference sure. with, the, with these two countries. And it's very easy to communicate with the people and everything is so close, everything is so convenient. So. It's much more easier for living than, let's say, Japan, where everything is far and you cannot speak English. You people yeah. don't speak English at all, almost at all. Yeah. Uh, Thailand is a bit easier, and I I would say Bangkok is a nice city to live in. Okay. So comparing Singapore to Bangkok is very similar, actually. Just maybe Singapore is much more cleaner and safer. Okay, that's a, an in, an interesting way to look at, but I think everyone agrees with you on that for Singapore as well. Okay, so as much as I look younger than I probably am, uh, I'm 46 years old. So at 46 year old, I am more than well aware of Hajduk Split. Growing up, Hajduk Split oh, yeah. were so Hajduk Split were like one of these teams that we looked at when we were younger. The big kind of massive European name. Now, obviously, if you talk about Croatian football, it's Hajduk Split, Croatia Zagreb and Enrique only recently, but that's because I'm a Hibernian fan. So now I know about these yeah, guys kind of. that I that I hadn't heard of before. But um, the question I want to ask you, I mean, you played 
from 2000 till 2007 with um, with Hadjik Split. Um, but are, is, is that your local team? Is that your favorite team, or do you have a, another Croatian team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually living in the small village. I mean, village. Yeah, it's urban village near near uh, city of Split, and you know when when you are there, everyone supporting Hajduk Split. All yeah. all people, not only in the Split, but surrounding and maybe half of Croatia as well. So you are raised like that, and yeah. it becomes more than a club. It becomes like so so called. Uh, way of life and religion. Yeah. So it was really a pleasure to be part of Yout Academy there. I was captain as well, and uh, my dream was one day to play in the first team, but it, did, it didn't happen. So I can say that I'm very, very happy that I was part at least of Yout Academy because many kids don't have that that pleasure at all. Okay. Okay. So. Looking at all the teams that you've played with, is there any team in your career that you wish you'd managed to play for other than Hadjuk Split? I guess you kind of answered it there, but I was wanting to find out if there was other clubs that you would have liked to have played for. Honestly, honestly speaking, Hadjuk Split was my main target. And when when people, people ask other kids, you know, Maybe some of them would say Bayern Munich, uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona. For me, it was just Hajduk Split, nothing else. Uh, and many, many of the kids there are thinking the same way. And you know, everything else is just professional life. And Hajduk Split is the passion. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, hundred percent. So not only are you a hundred percent football footballer, you're a hundred percent football fan as well. That's the that's yeah. the kind of an, <laughs> that, that that's the answer that I would expect. I mean. Uh, tattoo on my back about Hajduk Split, so I cannot say anything <laughs> anything a part of that. So. Sure, sure. Okay, so we did a little bit of a, of a deep dive into your past as well. Uh, now, obviously, with my accent, you'll realize, and me saying I'm a Hibernian fan also, you can tell that I'm Scottish. So I saw that you went on trial with Dundee yeah. for a while and you scored against Falkirk. Um, ironically, Falkirk is the the team that my wife supports as well. So, so <laughs> can can you divulge a little bit of what your <laughs> thoughts of Scottish football were when you went to Scotland, and and how did you not get signed by Dundee? You scored, uh, and so, but what happened there? Honestly, I I was invited there to come for a trial, and I come there, and I I had only one training with the team. And straight after that, I, I play game against Falkirk, like you said, and I score an assist in that game. Uh, but I didn't get contracts, so it looks like to me that I was just invited there, you know, just like that. You know, yeah. it, it wasn't real serious because I was coming from from uh, Asia as well, and people in Europe are very skeptical about. Yeah. Uh, football here and it's not easy there are so many misconceptions about it and um, you need to beat all of that to, to earn contract but i think i did pretty well in that game and that i should stay at least few more days and maybe try to earn contract but coach say that he is looking for other type of star striker which i am not uh, yeah. he wants a target man and i'm not target man I, I like to play with the ball and I'm not the guy who will fight, especially big guys on my back and uh, jumping headers and such such things. I'm more uh, link up play and I like link up play. I like to assist. I like to score goals in. in I don't know how to explain. You know the that kind of football at which I'm playing yeah, as a okay. striker. I, I'm not classic number nine who will. Who will camp in the box and and wait for the ball to come? I like to be part of the game, part of yeah. build up. Yeah. So I mean, possibly that was the the tactics that Dundee were deploying with a long ball at the time, and they're just looking for a target man to play a long ball to. I don't actually have any friends that support Dundee, so I can speak bad about Dundee. I have friends that support Dundee United, but I can speak bad about Dundee. I don't think I'll get into trouble too much. Mm. With, with any of my friends. So it's Dundee's loss and Scotland's loss and Asia's gain um, with you then coming out to back out to Asia to continue playing. 
And then you did continue to play and you got invited to represent the Singapore Select to play in the, the Sultan of Selangor Cup. But then you 2016, can... actually 2016 and 17. But in 16, I, I was uh, I, I am playing. I was playing, but in 17, I was injured, so I couldn't play. So you couldn't play in the game, yeah, yeah. But you were you were top goal scorer in 2000. Sorry, two, sorry, 2017. 2017. I, I mean, I score a lot of goal, but I didn't win the golden boot in in Singapore. I was beaten by one goal uh, by Japanese striker Sano. Mm -hmm. uh, but in that in that season, I scored 25 goals in 22 games in the league plus CFC Cup, where, which, which I added 10 more goals. So it was a very prolific season. But I didn't get any individual award. Yeah. And last year, last year I fin I finally managed to do it. So I've got here in my notes that in 2017 you scored a total of 37 goals for yes, exactly. United. Yeah. So 37 goals. Um, now, here's an interesting one as well. In You've had 96 goals uh, from what we were able to look at, as well as 184 assists. So you're four goals off of getting that century. Uh, obviously, you plan to do that before the end of this season's out, right? For sure. Get over uh, 100 goals. I mean, here, here, yeah, in Singapore, I score so many, but uh, I score 76 in the league, so... I think we will need to postpone that milestone for another year. <laughs> but it's possible though, right? It's more than possible. 100% it's more than possible. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking looking forward to it. Okay, so it's kind of staying on the subject of Singapore, and you've obviously got a great love uh, of Singapore, Singapore football, having an opportunity also to represent them in the select team. If you were able to make uh one thing a priority in singapore or let's say maybe even from fan engagement or bigger bigger stadiums anything like that what what would you like to see um in singaporean football more quality pitches that's for sure so uh, more quality pitches okay that's uh it's yeah. a, a good conservative priority, good priority. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good conservative solid answer as well. So, so I, I do like that. <laughs> okay, so also tell tell me then what what's what's next for you then, other than getting that twenty four goals? Because you're what there there was an argument on Wikipedia that said you're thirty one years old, whereas in other sources it says you're thirty two years old. So, I, my birthday my birthday in in two weeks. So. You can you can say both both ways. Okay. <laughs> I'm currently thirty one, but I will be thirty two in in two weeks. So. Okay, excellent. So, so what what would you say is is next for you? Obviously, you're you're wanting and then going to stay on as long as possible at Home United. Uh, sorry, at uh, Lion City Sailors. Uh, it's an old habit, so it's difficult to not say Home United. Mm -hmm. Lion, Lion City Sailors. Um, what, what, what would you like to see next for you? Are you are you wanting to get back on the road at some stage, or are you happy to, to stay in Singapore? Uh, everything depends on opportunities. Are uh, soon is uh, season finishing, and we will see because I have contract only until end of this year, and I still didn't have uh, talks uh, with the club about my future here. So it will depend. You know, you always need to wait your opportunities and see what's the best for you. Okay. Okay. So, and to try and finish on a, on a nice positive note as well. Um, and I know that there will be quite a few Lion City Sailor fans that will be checking this out. So if you could tell us who, who would you say, because every dressing room has one, who is the, the joker that you have in the Lion City Sailors dress room? Who is the person that manages to mess around or put people off their training? Uh, actually, this kind of this group of people here in Lion City are all all are very, have to say, very humble and nice guys. And you don't have one person who are really you can say joker. Maybe we laugh the most with Diego because of his English and uh, he's funny with that. And uh, other than that, we don't have one guy who will be there like a clown. Let's say in other teams we, I played, we always have one, but here uh, most are very focused guy on, on their job and 
uh, there is no one who will jump out and make make funny of, of yourself or others. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So so we would put Diego down as the answer. Then we're gonna we're gonna write that one down, though, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Southie, thank you very much for your time today. Um, good luck for the rest of the season. And of course, uh, fingers crossed that you're going to get to your 100 goals. Um, and of course, we, we hope to see you playing in uh, Singapore for many years to come. And that's us done. Thank you very much once again to Stipe for the interview. Good luck to Lion City Sailors for the rest of the season. If you like what you heard, you want to check more of this content, remember, subscribe down there below. Click on the bell notification, you know all the things to do. Also, special shout out goes to Bunty for the tunes playing along in the background. Always, always the best tunes. Sometimes I forget to mention them and I do apologise, Bunty's playing the best beats. Click on the link, find out how you can download beats from Bunty as well. For now, and for us here at Harkis CGTV, it's on to the next one.